For uh, obvious reasons, but the Thai Fight Hotel. Also, oh, please tell us. <laughs> also, also has an amazing restaurant which serves delectable traditional Thai food. And for more information, you can go to the website www.thaifighthotel.com or Thai Fight Hotel Facebook fan page. We have discounts for the Thai Fight fan club and for the English commentators. I just made that up. <laughs> Well, hopefully they're listening at the back and uh, they're going to bring it up soon. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget, please, if you want to, if you can, it's always worthwhile. Join the Thai Fight fan club at Thai Fight online. All right, here we go. Fourth bout of the evening, the legendary Sire versus the very, very tall Kevin Bosa. You can imagine Bosa wants to make a name for himself in this fight, just like Sun Terra did after winning against uh, Sayok in the previous fight. Ah, that's right, yeah, last time we saw Sayok, he was actually stopped in the first round due to a massive cut just over the right eyebrow. Yeah, referee did a good job to stop that one. I wonder if Bosa was watching that fight or has at least seen it. He thinks that's potentially a weak spot where he could try and open that cut again. Well, the thing is, if he, if he didn't watch that fight, he's definitely seen Sayok in the ring before. Well, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get too starstruck. He's doing a good job here, attacking the leg, oh. and a huge left hand there from Kevin Bosa. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to get worried about that cut now. <laughs> Bosa looking very smooth in this opening round. Using nice footwork. Huge power in that left hand, or right hand, excuse me. Very tall, isn't he? Looks even taller than 186. Yeah, but it's quite a norm, actually, for Sayok to compete against That's true. fighters who are taller than him. Very true. Oh, another left hand there. Oh, and a nice knee. Good right hand, though, from Sayok. Just a warning shot there from, from the Thai legend. I mean, let's not forget that Sayok, at one point, was all the way up to 75 kilos. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, he's facing Shanat John and, you know, a lot of other heavier fighters. Oh, another swinging right hand there from Sayok. Just a little well under the right eye there of Sayok. Taking a few decent shots, that's been said in this opening round. Oh, that's for sure. I mean, so oh, my goodness! Stop left hand there! Bosa! He's looking drunk, he's looking one way! And down goes Bosa! Quick as a flash, Sayo moves through the gears and Bo Bosa, the barber is down! I mean, Sayo takes his time to start, but once he gets started, you cannot stop him. And that's an example of that just now. Keep your eyes on that left hand. You know he's going to come again. Bosa might have to wait for the bell here. Nice left hand there from Bosa, just regaining his composure. And he's doing ever so well in that opening round again. As Sayok moves in with that left hand, aiming it at the chin of the Spaniard. Yeah, Bosa did a good job though. When he got counted, he took his time to get up and took the he entire did. 10 yes. seconds in, in order to get back to the match. Well done to him. Nice left hand, left hook combination there from Bosa once again. Very impressive opening round, apart from, of course, that knockdown. It was all Bosa. And, you know, if it stays like this, Sayo has took the round because, like I said, of that knockdown. End of round one. Interesting round. Now let's take a look at some of the replay from that first round. I mean, in the beginning of the fight, it seemed like it was all Kevin Bosa, but eventually he got caught quite a few times. And especially that one, the big left hand, which stunned him. And Sayo just went to work right after that. Yeah, you can see the eyes rattling around in his head after that explosive left hand. That's a great shot of it right there. I mean, who knows? It could have been Bosa's round, you know, if, uh, if that knockdown didn't come, but let's not... I would say it was, definitely. Yeah. In Thai fight, if you get knocked down, that only counts for just one point. So it's a 10-9 round for Sayok in that round. Oh, straight away, Bosa goes in. Unbelievable hands there from Bosa. He knows that he's down on the scorecards. He's taking it to the legend. You gotta give it to Bosa, show he's just tremendous heart. I mean, he wants to come back into this fight, he wants to do it in style with all of those combinations. Oh, Sayok there in the clinch delivers another stunning left hook. Bosa holding on just a little bit there. Yeah, Sayok seems like he's in a lot of trouble at 39 years of age. I mean, I'm surprised that he's still standing from some of these blows. Good left hook, yeah. Good elbow there from Bosa as well. So active, just doesn't stop. Relentless pressure. 
You know, this is exactly what Bosa needed to do after he got knocked down. You, you've got to imagine his coaches are very happy with what they're seeing in the ring right now. There's that left hook from Sayo once again. Good knee there from Bosa. Right hand from Sayo. Nice body shot there from the left hand. And then Bosa walks in to a left hand and a left knee. Down goes Bosa for the second time in the fight. Beautiful boxing there from Sayo. I mean, he ducked underneath the hook coming in from Bosa and then just gave and he just gave him that hand. He's looking into his corner, it looks okay. Looks like he's recovered once again. Good right hand there from Sayok. And again, back to the body. Elbow attempt there from Bosa. Right hand from Sayok to the body, and again, a stinging body shot. Another left knee once again from Sayok, and down goes Bosa for the second time in the round. Now remember, if you go down three times in a round, the referee, by the rules of of tie fight, will have to stop the fight. Bosa showing tremendous heart, but I don't think it keeps going on. There's no way the body is hurt. This is it, and down she moves, and it's all over! I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take it away, everyone. Yeah, literally, you can't do it. You can't do it. He just slid it. And that left hand came in. And any time he could find body shots. Bang, right there. And Bosa felt that one. Hey, you gotta love it how Sayok changes the levels at each attack. He, if, he can, if he can't connect to the head, he goes to the body. That's something that I think Nongo could learn from. Oh, definitely. I mean, if Nongo is able to do the exact same thing that Sayok can do, I mean, with Nongo's age, his power, his speed, he could be such a phenomenal fighter. I mean, he already is. He could be even better. I agree. Right now, Nongo is a great fighter, but he can be unstoppable, learning from what he's seen in, uh, from Sayok here tonight. And that's the thing, fighters get they're so afraid of the power of the headshots from Sayo that they cut her up and then the body is exposed. Finnerys! That's the Rapuchana Horrao! Sayo Pumanun from Thailand! Kulso, I'm going to go around and 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 I'